uh, welcome back everyone so we were talking about object dot create let's uh, take a last video on this because it's an important concept which I missed so object dot create uh, we didn't talk about the second argument in the object dot create first argument we know that we need to pass the prototype object or a plain object or the second object is a properties object if you want to do add some new property in the newly created object then mention it here okay we will talk about that uh, with this example so consider this is a prototype object we have mm, something wrong here Prototype object and I have a full name property. Okay, it's not on here. My bad. Some keyboard issues. Okay. So I have created a prototype object now. I can do simply object.create on this to create a new object out of it. And because it's a plain object, so I can directly pass it. And I'm creating the new object which is a person okay so new person object has been created and it has the full name property so if you try to do person dot uh, full name what do you will get it's a function right so you need to call it you will get nn right this first name is not a property last name is not a property both are undefined undefined plus undefined not an n right not a number because we are trying to add something so it can add either they are both should be a string so we can extend this object if you try to see this console.dir and the person object it is having nothing it's a plain object in the proto you have some full name function right now we can also add some properties something like this first name and the last name property so what it will do it will add the, the two property in the person object the local properties not in the proto so okay i did only for the first name let's do for the last name also first name and last name two properties i have added right so let me just clear it out Now person object is having both the properties. Now if you call person dot full name, then you will get the proper response, right? So how this happened, right? So what actually happened when you are actually calling this particular functions? All those things we will try to see. Okay. Let's try to print this. Okay. right so person object if you try to uh, let's put this console.log inside this because it will not get printed i have already created a person object so let me iterate this once more What is wrong now? Function object console dot log this. Okay, this dot first name. So I wanted to show you what the current this object is pointing to. So this is an object, right? So this object will not be pointing to the global reference. It will be pointing to the local, where it will be having three properties: first name, last name, and full name properties. So where this dot first name is coming from? when you are assigning the value to the person object so this is the person object we created and we have this full name function ok now let me just create a directly an object
Now if I'm calling person dot full name, right? It is giving me the empty object and it is having the full name as a property, right? But let me add the properties. First name and the last name property to the first person object. Now if you see a uh, full name, okay. right? This object is currently pointing to this reference. It is having first name and last name is Tarana, TK sensor, right? So that's how you are able to get this first name and last name as a property. But this is uh, we creating the object and then we are assigning some properties to it. That's not the right way, right? We are we have the other option, right? We can also assign new properties to the newly created object. So like uh, we are creating the object something like this. So instead of doing this, uh, I have a less space here. Let's do it right away. So prototype object and here you can create an object properties and how to do that. So first property I'm adding is a first name. Okay. First name property will have another three properties, which is a value. Okay. So every object property is will have these three properties writable, configurable and the value. We will talk about that in all these parameters in depth when we talk more about object in the intermediate part. So these three properties are added like there is a writable, configurable, enumerable. There are three properties. So this is the first name property. Similarly, I can add another property here which is a last name. Right. So this is how you can uh, create a properties also while creating the new object. So now you don't need to assign these parameters manually. This newly created object already have the first name and last name. So you can just directly call the first name dot, uh, dot full name and it will give you that value, right? Even if you try to do the console.log person, you will have everything. It will have the both the parameters, both the properties, first name and last name, which is writable, enumerable as true. Right. So this is the another view of uh, creating the object where you can extend where you can create a new properties. So enumerable, configurable, writable, these three are the properties of a descriptor. So whenever we create an object, we assign some properties, right? So let's try to let me try to. Okay, let me create an object. Uh, which is having x60 right now so this is a method inside the get on descriptor here i can get the the descriptor value of uh, the object inside this object i have the one this is very so inside the object i can get the descriptor of this property which is value 60 writable enumerable and configurable right so either you can create these properties by default or by default they will get assigned to true okay so in object there are there is a uh, method define property so if i wanted to define a new property on this object where which is already having x60 i can do something like this so this is the object and here i can add some new properties Define properties means you can add one more property uh, with the value of all these things. So I'm adding new property y having value 70. Uh, leave it a second object dot define property and uh, let me just uh, define more properties here so I'm adding a new property y and value is uh, 60 right table is false okay let me check property description must be an object that is fine so this is how we are creating an object. 
and uh, this is the description of the object define property I'm adding a new property to this object y maybe I'm doing something wrong here okay let me do something object dot define property so object dot define property takes a uh, two argument first is the object uh, on which you are creating the new object new property so object name and the property which you are adding and the, the values around it uh, object dot define property y is the new property I'm adding and uh, okay uh, I'm forgetting the codes here what is this so what I'm doing sorry guys uh, I mean this is a difference between defined property and defined properties so the object the new property and the values of the object right so this will work now we have two properties in the object x60 and y70 Similarly, there is a, another method define properties uh, instead of define property. This is how you can add. So you can also add writable, configurable, enumerable, true, false properties to the new property which you are adding to the object. 